Bye, hi, Lisa. I love you. All right, so we have a busy uh, road trip ahead of us, but I'm very excited about this road trip. We got my line of old school trucks, including Abby's square body. I got this beautiful blue second gen Cummins, crew cab second gen Cummins. Underneath the hood, there's a nice 12 valve underneath there. It's got compound turbos already, but it's not fast enough. It sounds pretty good, but we're trying to make like 1200 horsepower over here because we get bored with our lives and who doesn't want to do rolling burnouts in a 30 inch lifted truck? We are taking this truck over to my good buddy, Cole Motors. You may remember him, the king of diesel swaps. He has a motor that I want. He has the old 12 valve, the original 12 valve out of Murder Ram. You may remember back in the day, that shorty that was like terrifying to drive. <laughs> Twelve valve, twelve valve. Throw the twelve valve in that truck, and we will have one hell of a party. And this one leaks a little bit of oil. <laughs> Boy math. Instead of fixing the oil leak, why don't you just pull the motor and do a whole brand new motor? Makes sense to me, right? Yeah, kind of. It's fair enough. We're gonna get this started up. If it even starts, it's like very cold outside today in Antarctica. Surprisingly, load up on the trailer and head that way. <laughs> You think so? Yeah, I think so too. Side quest number one. All right, side quest number one. But this is a six speed, so we get to bump start it. Mind giving me a push? Obviously, this truck is way too big to drive all the way to Indiana. It's like a seven hour drive. So we get to use the tow rig. If you missed the last video, we picked up this L5P Duramax Dually on 30s. It hauls amazing. So we are going to use it every chance that we can get. This has a big ass sub, so it's gonna make the drive very much enjoyable. So the only complaint I have with Chevys is a F450 will have a camera up there. You can hook up the gooseneck by yourself. That's my only complaint about this whole truck. I wonder if we can wire one in. You can. Just take like a little GoPro and like put the wire through the roof and just hook it up to the monitor. There's a third light with a camera on it that you can buy. Aha! Wow. And they say these trucks aren't practical. <laughs> Definitely smokes. Wait till it has double the horsepower. And Ooh, stack, yeah. yeah. Well, we forgot we're doing the stack. I know I'm like kind of numb to like us having nice trucks, but if you'd like sit back and think about this setup that we're towing with right now, if you would have told me like four years ago, Gabe, you're gonna have this whole setup, probably would have shit my pants. Eight months ago. Eight months ago. If yeah, you would have told us eight months ago, we're gonna have this setup, we would have been like, yeah, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> like crew cap 2G and this monstrosity, like, oh my God. We're gonna cause an accident. A million dollar setup right there. <laughs> Casual million dollar setup. Yeah, our trucks are cool, but if you ever see like a, a big dozer with a semi, brand new semi truck. Yeah, he's shitting on everybody. <laughs> and he probably has four more. Have we arrived? We're at a, the world famous Cole Motors shop, the, the home of diesel swaps and uh, everything that is cool about Indiana Rednecks.
I mean, it sounds pretty good. Like, it's not terrible. It, it's a really nice, good running truck, but it's not fast enough. By the way, it's only smoking a lot because the stack at the bottom literally came off. Oh, yeah. Because it, <laughs> it has so much power. Gosh, that needs to change as well as the motor. Underneath the hood of this beast, if you didn't know, is a 12 valve Cummins, uh, slightly modified. It has two massive turbos. I forget how big turbos they are, but it's, it's good for like, I'd say it's probably making like seven, maybe 700 horsepower. Maybe. It's got a stock pump, the size delivery valves, uh, stock injectors, and some head studs. For the normal truck enthusiast, it's a pretty good motor it's a lot of power it's, it, it'd be very much fun to drive on the road it rolls coal i haven't tried to do burnouts in it but i bet it would do a burnout just fine now for me i'm i'm clinically insane so it needs to be an actual drag truck so we brought it here to coal motors because we have a motor sitting back there somewhere it deserves to be in this truck it's been sitting for two years so why not throw it in there all right so long time ago about i'd say mm, two years now coal had this beautiful second gen coming shorty at the time i had my white second gen coming shorty had this like little rivalry on like instagram on who had the faster shorty i just i thought my 800 horsepower 24 valve was like the absolute shit and it was unbeatable that's actually why me and cole became friends i ended up selling the white shorty i never got to come out and race cole one thing led to another i had this fummins and uh, i wanted a transmission put into it so cole said hey i'm the king of diesel swaps bring it over i'll put the trans in it and you can uh, finally come take a look at this murder ram truck that he built i came all the way out here he did the transmission on the fummins i saw murder ram for the first time didn't drive it or anything uh something was wrong with that at the time but i fell in love with that truck like the, it was so beautiful like the paint was so nice he did an amazing job on the frame off restoration of it it was like an absolute perfect truck and it made like 900 horsepower so i somehow convinced him to let me come out again and i drove the truck for the first time i, I made a video like showcasing the truck and during the rollers of <laughs> that video i did a small pull and i completely and annihilated the transmission in nv4500 yeah blew it to pieces before i drove it cole said if you break it you buy it as a joke uh i broke the truck so then i bought the truck and that's how the whole murder ram situation came out he put a new trans in it eventually we did more power we dynoed it it made like 1100 horsepower with way more fuel to be added so this is like a you, you could say 1200 horsepower plus capable motor i gave away the truck the winner took cash instead of the truck so me and cole completely rebuilt murder ram we did a common rail swap and that's the motor that's in it today i got the bright idea after i brought this crew cab crew cab has a tiny oil leak instead of you know fixing the oil leak uh, i decided to just take the whole motor out so we brought here to cole he's gonna rip out that 12 valve throw the new murder round 12 valve into my truck he got custom powder coated piping and everything and my truck is going to be i'm gonna have a 1200 horsepower crew cab second gen on a 30 inch lift 30 inch wheels 42 inch tires i love driving the truck already because it's a six speed six speed second gen cummins is quite possibly one of the most fun trucks to drive when they are running and not completely broken the motor that's in this truck has 230,000 miles the murder ram motor i've spent like 25 grand rebuilding it it's like maybe 50 miles on it every gas kit's brand new turbo kit's brand new everything's brand new this motor i actually have sold already you may know her katie noel country singer she's about yay big got pretty teeth like mine i don't know she has so many trucks nowadays it's not even like she has a huge truck collection including a uh, first gen cummins so i sold her a two-wheel drive nv 5600 six-speed transmission that i have laying around and i sold her this 600 700 horsepower twin turbo 12 valve out of my crew cab uh -huh. that's the hood stack off murder room no i'm not putting a hood stack on it i don't want to cut off the one of three srt 10 second gen hoods or should i because that would really piss everybody off no no? No. No. Think, yep, that's it. This is it. Success! <laughs> Our treasure hunt has been completed. So it doesn't look like much right now. I think he took the valve covers off too, so then he can get product of those. This is Murder Ram's old heart and soul. The reasoning why I almost kitschowed myself like 20 million times. It is built to the brim. Full, fully built top end. I know it's a forged rotating assembly. Big, big injectors. Uh, 13 millimeter P pump. Everything. Everything brand new. Every gasket has been changed. That will be the new heart and soul of the crew cab. I felt so bad I'd knowing that this motor was just sitting in a barn brought me so much joy very excited to have it back in my life and those turbos are massive it's like a 70 millimeter over an 88 millimeter jackson's 
Jackson's race truck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> homie Bro, has like... Homie could have a garage sale and buy a mansion. If you're looking for motors, they're here. Why do you think we call him Cole Motors? Because he steals all the motors off Marketplace. I don't know where the powder coated piping is, but that's the motor. I hope you're excited. Well, I guess I could show you what color the powder coated piping all is. Cole's not here to tell me where anything is, so I'm kind of like on my own right now. See that? That's the turbo color. It, all the piping underneath the hood, the turbos, and the valve covers will all be... I think it's called Illusion Root Beer. It'll be cool. Just use your imagination. Imagination real quick. Imagine pretty turbos underneath the hood and we can move on. Truck is officially dropped off. We have an empty spot on the trailer. We have two options. We could either buy a thousand horsepower fifth gen or we could take on one of these tractors. Fifth gen. I don't think we need a tractor. Really? Come on. I mean, it's cool and all, you know. Dually's all the way around. <laughs> I just want something to mow my lawn with. But it's fine. Whatever. I guess we'll go get the fifth gen. Whoa! See that big pink thing over there? What is that about? This is one of the 20 vehicles that I just forget that we have. This is Abby's first gen. For everybody that's wanting updates on the first gen, there she is. I forgot how nice that's, this powder is. It's gonna be one bad mamma jamma for sure. Dude Lovejoy is supposed to come out here. The guy that actually built this whole lift. He's gonna do sway bars on it. So we'll have sway bars because that's the only thing that's missing right now. I got some shocks coming for us, coilovers and bypass shocks. Cole already has the 40,000 original mile well valve in it and the transmission ready to go. I like this, uh, I like their bolts. They're pretty <laughs> nice. Hopefully they'll swap those out for actual bolts. Dude Lovejoy gonna do his part all the hard lines for the brakes have to be ran pretty much it and then they slap the body on it and abby gets to drive it home just kidding we're gonna trailer it probably it's gonna be a pavement princess for sure 37 hours back to antarctica i wouldn't want to drive a 20 inch lifted first gen or wherever i don't really know how tall this thing's gonna be that's the problem we've only seen it on these little baby wheels and tires and it's massive on little baby wheels and tires Man, on 30s or something like that 30s and 44s that's what she wants to do so it's gonna be that's literally the same height as the blue truck yes that's insane i'm excited so there's your first gen update so now you guys can stop asking actually all of our builds right now we hope that all of them are going to be back in time for lst that's in the end of february coming soon all of our truck life will be amazing i'll actually have all 20 of my vehicles back in my driveway it'll be very nice i found the body of abby's first gen too it's on the green trailer lieutenant dan he ain't got no leg <laughs> oh my god you guys are bitching about bluetooth front drive shafts how about bluetooth everything Don't, you ain't fooling me cole cole's using uh abby's first gen bed to uh hide his moonshine from the cops yeah you think he can afford all this by farming yeah hell no moonshine. he's definitely selling moonshine on the side Damn. okay i know we said we have like the nicest tow rig that that would be the nicest tow rig actually this thing's stretched this thing sings oh, <laughs> put that on megan God. imagine bro that'd be insane taller than megan that's gonna how does that fit underneath an overpass that's insane we're gonna be daily in same eyes one, one day, day <laughs> one day you will definitely catch me rolling up to my la fitness in a fucking semi truck <laughs> You guys have just over two weeks left to get to win Chili. This is my 2017 GMC 2500 Denali. Got a big turbo built L5P Duramac. Got a built Allison 6 feet transmission. Leveled on 26 by 14 JTX Force wheels and 33 inch Venom tires. Inside, it's got tan Denali leather interior, fully loaded with 2500 stars, 30 rock lights, tons of color match, and so much more. All you gotta do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today. Super simple. For a limited time, we're doing a times three entry multiplier. That means normally you spend 20 and you get 10 entries now you're gonna be getting 30 so take advantage of that sale and get entered today and who knows on january 19th i might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck good luck to everybody and enjoy the rest of the video All right, so we skated over to Ohio. We're picking up a truck for Abby. If you didn't see the last video, Abby sold her big Ford Jolene, the big frame off F-250 Platinum that we took to SEMA. Sold that truck, that truck's heading to Arizona as we speak. So obviously she needed a new truck. She wants a white fifth gen. She wanted something to be like daily drivable. No ginormous 30 inch lift like the Ford had or anything. I did my best. I tried to find the best fifth gen for the money and i think i did just uh, i think i hit the nail on the head with that one i found a very very tastefully modified fifth gen out here in ohio already color matched favorite color is pink as of right now and this is the only truck i've ever seen that has pink 
underneath the hood. So it has a big turbo, bunch of pink accents underneath the hood. I think it's level. Hopefully it's not Apollo garbage because I've been looking for like the past three weeks for a truck and I finally got one that she's okay with. So cross fingers, hopefully it's nice. I'm excited to see it because I know a big turbo second gen swapped fifth gen sounds amazing. One of the best sounding trucks that you can buy. And I kind of miss my fifth gen, so we'll have another fifth gen in the driveway. Bro, you think these lights are bright enough? It's like you turn on the sun. Or no bumper lights. Bumper lights. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Daniel. Yep, that's definitely a white vibe, yeah. dude. For sure. Uh, can you show me how to turn the rock lights on first before he starts it? Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. That's nasty. We say rock. Oh, damn. What the fuck? They're sick as fuck. Oh, my lord. Damn. That's fucking Hey, bad pussy performance. Hey. Well. Yeah. Aw, oh, that brings back memories. Holy shit. Yeah, oh, should we be giving this to Abby? <laughs> this is so nasty. It's a limited. Limited. 2022, 20, 20,000 miles. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so responsive. Oh, <laughs> we need a G56. I miss my <laughs> so bad. L5Es are so cool, don't get me wrong, but that gives my L5P a run for its money. Do you think so? Ah. Uh, <laughs> as for 100 Cummins or as for 100 L5P? <laughs> Okay, oh that's that's God. that's a <laughs> that's dumb. That's, that's that pretty is, dumb. That's pretty stupid. But it's still like really drivable. Like it's yeah, like, I was gonna have fun in this. I forgot 5G's have like such good sound deadening. Yeah, like it's loud as fuck on the outside. It's yeah. really quiet in here. Sunroof, black interior. Need some star lights for sure. Oh, 100 percent 2,500 stars. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, we're Nick. coming. <laughs> Come on. He said auxiliary five disables all of the traction control so you can do burnout. All right, let's see it. Oh my god! god. This thing is disgusting. That was a quarter throttle. <laughs> Why? What are we doing? What the f Can I get one in black, please? This is good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> Abby daily driving this. Cause when she got fancy back with the twin turbo, she's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna race everybody. I'm gonna gap them. <laughs> I'm gonna gap them all. This truck is actually fast. <laughs> So in search of a 5G? Yeah, if anybody has a uh, black 5G that they want to sell, preferably that already has a big turbo, you know, fuck it, I don't care. I, I'm gonna go buy another 5G. <laughs> Hello guys, went on a massive voyage the other day. We had slight complications, but nobody's ever gonna know about it because we literally didn't film for four and a half hours of being stuck in the driveway. Anyway, so we got this fifth gen here for Abby. It's a uh, 2022 limited Ram 2500. This brings back memories. I actually, I'm very sad. I, I miss, miss my fifth gen very much after hearing this fifth gen. And uh, well, this truck's in my driveway. So that means that I can take it to the gym whenever I want. This thing is an absolute sleeper. It doesn't look like much right now because on stock wheels. I think I'm gonna take the KG ones off my fourth gen and throw it on this and throw the stocks on. That, in the meantime, just so then Abby isn't looking like a grandpa rolling around getting her nails done and stuff in a thousand horsepower truck. Inside, it's pretty basic, limited leather interior, which is actually really nice. I've never had a limited, I had a Longhorn. So I had the brown interior, but it has black with black 
accents the speedometer and shit has blue on it if you've never seen a limited it's the top of the line interiors for this truck all the rock lights and everything that you saw last night are hooked up to auxiliary switches really really nice they even have an auxiliary switch for burnout mode so it disables like abs traction control all of the millions of sensors that never let my fifth gen do a burnout this truck already disables with the push of a button which is pretty fucking sick selling point of this truck uh so this has a six seven cummins it has uh some slight modifications worked out perfectly this is the exact color that abby wants to do on her lift kit it matches her first gen a little bit of mods so it's got an s472 turbo uh, aftermarket valve cover obviously intake piping everything is color match brake fluid reservoir powder coated coolant tank that's powder coated so very very tasteful the the hood is literally finished all you need is a big fat mirror right here omar st cloud height you can actually see underneath the hood the trans apparently is stock it has stock injectors and stock fuel it just has a turbo so we might get lucky i don't know i beat the ever living crap out of my hide fourth gen and and never had any transmission issues so i feel like 68s are like 50 50 you're either gonna have a perfectly running truck forever or it's going to leave you stranded on the side of the road this is just a little daily driver for abby so she's not gonna be going on crazy crazy road trips the further she goes is like atlanta to get her hair done so shouldn't be too big of a problem and if it is we'll throw a build one in it thing has headsets i think it had push rods and he gave me a whole bed full of parts whole bunch of fuel upgrades it's got a fast fuel system which i was gonna buy anyway it's got valve springs little parts here and there that all have to be thrown on remember the picture there was a nitrous bottle back here that is correct there's no nitrous bottle damn I mean, I wasn't going to spray it or anything, but like, I, it was cool to be able to say that there was nitrous back there. We'll just buy two nitrous bottles. I'm, I'm going to buy two nitrous bottles for the back yeah. of this truck. I think that'd be sick. But Bryce Johnson has some laying around that we could just steal off of him. It is fully paint match. Tail lights, bumpers, everything exactly the way that she wanted it. It does have a little leveling kit. Light fab, radius arms to the front. Fox shocks all around. Harley front leveling springs, not like a little cheap puck. <laughs> the plan for this truck, hide down in florida it is getting a new lift kit right now the lift kit that was on it before 16 to 20 inch plan b fab lift kit lift kit was like thirty thousand dollars to whoever built that truck so i don't really feel like throwing it away throw that lift kit once hide is done on this truck we're going to chrome plate it and uh do pink accents just like her big ford had probably do 28s and 40s and have the perfect daily driver abby's not even here she hasn't even seen it yet she's so hard to impress like yeah vehicle wise she gets to ride around in like a twin turbo r raid every day world's biggest dually like casually we we buy baller ass trucks every day so i unfortunately she's not it's like she's gonna like it got a fifth gen this is literally her her dream truck she's been talking about it since i met the girl she's probably gonna be excited but she'll be as sad as this us you know no, we were freaking be. out yesterday we, i was geeking probably gonna be like yep yeah, looks nice sounds cool let's go get some waffle house <laughs> should we should we tell them the carnage about what happened if you know since, since we spent four hours we did indeed spend a large majority of our morning in a day in an actual ditch almost lost this truck actually <laughs> a combination of me and brian's mathematic skills we were able to calculate exactly how to get out of this ditch without entirely ourselves all i was really worried about was abby's fifth gen i was perfectly okay with this truck completely falling apart awful yeah uh, but it, i was like i could buy another chevy i can't buy another fifth gen for abby real quick you know we got a broken leg <laughs> what the fuck is this <laughs> Uh, hydraulic legs, you know. Mind you, this is my grandfather's trailer. He lets me use it to go pick up stuff until my two 44-footers get here. Yeah, we broke the leg on the trailer. Should be able to pull out these bolts and just buy a new one. That's really not that bad. That, that's, that's not good. So... The way we were sitting on the hill, the neck of the trailer went into the bed of the Chevy right here and took out a big chunk. I'm going to text Thomas King and see if this is fixable. I mean, not terrible. It probably doesn't even look that bad on camera. But at the time, I was like, I was I was crying in the club. It's like, no, this truck was so perfect. And I ruined it after two days of having it. So, you know, we're whatever, I guess. Basically, what happened, we slid off of uh, the concrete into the ditch and the axle of the trailer high centered. We were not going anywhere. That truck was on the trailer. One, it was heavy as shit. You could probably have two Chevys hooked up to this trailer and it wouldn't have yanked it out of the ditch. It was impossible. <laughs> we couldn't get the ramps down and take the truck off. We literally, it, it was, took four and a half hours and we were both tired. We just drove all the way back, but we do it for the content for you. So, you know, subscribe. Subscribing's free. We just waste like countless hours of our life having to deal with stupid, what, what we call side, side quests. Quest. They are stuff that we normally don't record that goes wrong every single day. It's always happening, just so you know. We yeah. were thinking about starting a second channel called GFP Side Quest just because it's like, we we film videos very consistently even more consistently it goes wrong and we never <laughs> record it comment down below if you guys would watch gfp side quest videos i think it'd be 
pretty cool. Do something else with our life. We could buy dirt bikes and stuff. Do like little vlogs that we wouldn't post on here. It's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Maybe then I could actually afford my life because I'm like borderline going bankrupt like twice a month. We are uh, Abby's Uber, very expensive Uber. <laughs> Sounds nice though. And uh, we're here at Madeline's house and there's a whole bunch of trucks, including Justine and Landon's. Frame off Aluma duties. Very clean. Yeah, way a little bit above our pay grade, to be honest. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> this is Landon's. Freaking orange and white 30s. Frame off any level. I think Zach Penick did his, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know who did Justine's. Justine's is cool. Pink frame off, any level, 350. Oh, it's a 350, not a 450. Not gonna lie, it's still pretty fucking cool. Color match, CM flatbed. We're thinking about doing a flatbed on the, the Chevy. We're not exactly sure yet, but I do like the look of this, like this one, one yeah. a lot. Big ass hitch, cause it's a work truck. Pink frame, it's baller. I'm actually surprised Abby like didn't want to buy this. This truck's for sale, so I didn't know why she didn't want to yeah, buy this I when she sold her truck. What the shit I did. Yeah, me too. The interior is all cut custom too both of them got custom interior with big ass sound systems and shit which which one are you taking the pink one or the orange one i for some reason i like this one too i kind of fuck with pink low-key orange that is, hood is fucking hard. orange is cool too yeah i really like it said so that hood needs to be on that truck for sure cal hoods on illuminate is just uh hella first gens you want a first gen no it's like 17 on this property i bet matt doesn't like first gen that white first gen or that no. <laughs> so, yeah i like the gray I, I i'll take the white though for sure and then there's a 3g back there 